Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks that will hopefully help you to get those diamond shotguns on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. Uh, so first off, I want to talk about the challenges that you need to complete to actually get this diamond camo. Uh, first off, you need 100 headshots, but this is only for two of the shotguns. This is only for the Brecky and the Haymaker. As a matter of fact, for the KRM and the Argus, you only need 100 one-shot kills. Obviously, because it is a little more challenging to get those headshots with those two weapons. Uh, but for all the shotguns together, you need to get 50 kills without attachments, 50 kills with an optic, and 5 attachments, get 2 rapid fire kills 5 different times, and get 5 bloodthirsty. So, you need to complete every single one of those challenges for each and every shotgun in the tier uh, to be able to get those diamond camos. So, uh, first off, I kind of want to talk to you guys about the class setup that I recommend using. Um, I wasn't going to do this, but I feel like this is such a god class setup that will help so much that it's worth talking about. So, what I always run on my shotgun classes is rapid fire, extending mags, and long barrel as my attachments. And, uh, and perk wise, I go afterburner, tracker, dead silence, and blast arrestor. So, let's talk about that for a second. Rapid fire is just a must when it comes to guns like the Brecky and the Haymaker. The Argus and the KRM aren't as important to have rapid fire on obviously because they're pump action shotguns uh but rapid fire still does come in pretty helpful just because it gives you that uh extra second to be able to shoot another shot uh, i guess technically it does help a lot because when you think about it you only get one shot and with rapid fire it allows you to reload to be ready to shoot another shot even quicker um, but it really really helps when it comes to using the guns like the brecky and the haymaker i found it extremely useful um, I always run extended mags and long barrel regardless of what shotgun I'm using. Uh, just because shotguns are obviously close range weapons aren't meant to be long range. And with long barrel and extended mags it gives you that opportunity to not only be able to shoot someone from a further distance but have more bullets to be able to kill them. Uh, so I always run extended mags, always run, run long barrel, and rapid fire is just kind of a new attachment that I've been running a lot recently. Uh, perk wise, I always run afterburner, tracker, dead silence, and blast suppressor. So you guys know from watching my videos that dead silence and blast suppressor is my go-to perk. So that way I can stay silent, try to stay off the radar when boost jumping around, and, uh, and it allows me to run around the enemy spawn and not necessarily have to worry about being spotted, unless obviously they have a UAV. Um, but afterburner is very, very helpful with a shotgun, obviously because it's such a close range weapon. I like to have afterburner so that I can move around the map a little bit quicker so that I have a, a little bit of an advantage to get to someone quicker because obviously I have a shotgun I want to be able to take them out uh, as quick as possible. And, uh, and tracker is just something that I run with my shotgun class where if I'm in their spawn because I have tracker I'm able to come up behind people and with a shotgun I feel like uh, that's probably the most useful gun to use when running a perk like tracker. So uh, that is the class setup that I generally run when using my shotguns. Uh, game mode wise, when obviously using a shotgun, you want to be close to people. You don't want to play on maps that are huge like Havoc. You don't want to play game modes like Capture the Flag or anything crazy like that where you have to go toward people in a wide open space and have the in whole enemy team coming for you. Uh, so I recommend playing game modes like Chaos Mosh Pit. Domination is a good one. Hardpoint is a pretty good one. Um, if the Nuketown playlist is up, definitely recommend playing Nuketown. But it's pretty obvious, guys. You want to play game modes that are going to allow you to play close range. Chaos Mosh Pit is probably the best just because it allows you to play the smallest maps in the game and uh, and some pretty fun game modes as well uh, some quick tips that I want to share with you guys when using the shotguns first off no scoping is, is extremely crucial when trying to get some of these headshots especially with the brecky and the haymaker I found it so easy uh, to play on nuketown to play on combine to play on fringe some really small maps and run around with extended mags long barrel and just no scoping people and it was super easy easiest way uh, to get tons and tons of headshots even some kill feeds uh, especially with that Brecky and that Haymaker. It is absolutely unbelievable, so easy to do. And, uh, and I got those headshots within a few games. I mean, it was very, very easy. Um, second off, hug walls. Um, avoid wide open areas. This is something else that's very, very obvious. You know, try not to run down the middle of the map. Try to stay um, on the sidelines. Try to, try to run along the walls, through the corridors, you know, wherever you can go to, to keep yourself off the middle of the map, to keep, like, snipers and people with light machine guns, assault rifles, camping, and spawn. Uh, from giving them a better opportunity to take you out. Um, and last but not least, stay away from teammates. And, uh, and I say this a lot in a lot of my videos just because um, teammates tend to get you killed a lot, especially when you're using shotguns. Um, try to stay away. And, and another thing is, like, you know, you look at the mini map, you see where your teammates are, are bunched up. You don't even need a UAV to know where the enemy team is, honestly. You just got to see where your teammates are not and go over there. And when you're using a shotgun, you just, you're so much more successful. It's so much easier than having to worry about a stupid teammate shooting or giving away your spot. 
uh, especially when you only have a weapon that you can shoot people from a close range. So uh, be careful, have fun with it, and it's very, very basic, very easy. And, uh, and hopefully you guys will be able to get these challenges in this diamond camo pretty darn fast. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.